Hi everyone, Wendy Spanish Crafter here. I'm on today to start a diary. Now I use a diary every year and this is the one I use. I just normally buy a cheapish one from the shop and it's normally a page a day and I put all my DT work in, I write my appointments in, I keep bits of paper in it and everything. But I thought I would have a go at making my own. So I need one that has got the date on and the days on. And this is some papers that I had left over at the start of lockdown, um, I started following along with Barbara Gray doing the doodling and I made myself a book and I put three signatures in like this, just a mixture of A4 paper folded in half, different colours and I doodled in it and I wrote notes in it and stuff like that. But I didn't need this one, it's been laying on the shelf here so I thought I would utilise this and I've worked out if I use 25 sheets of A4 and make four signatures, that will give me 400 pages front and back. So I'm not going to sew any signatures in, I'm just keeping them all loose at the moment and I'll probably split this up and put different coloured pages in. And I've also got this from Minxie studios uk this is her kit of backing papers and i've printed these on 120 gsm paper so i may use these within the signatures they're all just different uh, textures of paper sorry printed te different textures printed on the papers so i'm going to use those i'm not cutting any of the edges off because then they'll be the same size as the ones I've already used. So that's that bit. Then I've printed off a new kit by Janie B. And it's called Flora's Dreams. And this is a beauty. And there's, I think, 14 pages printed like this. And then I think there's six or eight of ephemera. So... It's just beautiful, sort of muted peaches and greys and browns. Very pretty. And this is the ephemera. I printed this on 160 GSM. The pages are printed on 120. And then I've printed the journal cards and tags on 250 GSM. So I've decided, as I said, do four signatures and I'm going to utilise a kit in each signature. So I'll have to decide whether this is sort of a, a wintry colour. I'll see which other three kits I want to use. But it's going to mean I'm going to have to stamp each page with the day and the date. And also I've, I'm going to utilise... These are some pages I've folded in half ready. I'm going to utilise odd bits of kits that I've got left over. Um, I think these are some of Janie B's. Just odd pages left. Owl kit there. Venice kit here. I can't use that one because it's printed on the back. Use that for something else. Collage. And that's a pretty one. And then I've pulled some coloured pages out. So I'm going to go off and work out my signatures. Then I'll come back and finish this part one of my nine, uh, 2022 diary. And then I'll come back when I've got the signatures all clipped together but not sewn in. OK, thank you. I shall see you later. Bye. OK, I've roughly sorted them into four signatures. Um, I've got from January, then a spring, a summer and an autumn. So obviously I'll be working on the January one first and I'm going to be using this kit from Janie B. Flora's Dreams. Uh, so I've made the first cover with one of the pages from the kit. Nothing is definite yet, I'll be swapping stuff in and out all the time. Um, then I wanted 
pockets at the beginning of each signature so I've just used an A4 piece of paper and flipped it up and I've not glued anything down yet and like I said before I'm not cutting any of these borders off then they all stay about the same and I've just alternated plain paper, coloured paper, odd bits left from the uh, kit um, and that's one of Minx's backing papers this is two and I will intersperse some of the papers from this kit from Jane but I will do want to save some to make a little notebook or a big notebook to put in the charity box as well so I'll decide which papers I'm going to use um, for to slot in here I will probably use the play, paler ones then they can be used for writing on as well like that is just beautiful but you could write on there as well and oh, just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I will keep some ephemera to put in here and some for a notebook so that is where I'm up to now and I've also folded some 160 GSM papers which I want to use for the start of each week so the first signature I'll have to go through and I've got a set of stamps I'll pull them out and I'm going to stamp the pages Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And then I'll have to get some number stamps and put the date on as well. Because I do want to use it as a proper diary. Because all my DT work, I'm on the design team for a few card challenge blogs. So I do write the themes in, in my diary. And then I write on, I put a tick on when I've done my blog post and put a tick on when I've done, like this one, um, all sorts. I write the theme on and then I put a tick on the when I've done my post on my blog and I put a tick when I've added my card to the design team blog. And um, So I keep it diary for that as well. I also use it for my own appointments and for John. And uh, hopefully in, 90, in 2022 we'll be getting a few more visitors so I can write all those in as well and then I have all sorts of bits of paper as you can see shoved in uh, this is John going back to the UK for a footy match and my Christmas card list and crafty ribbons design team list all sorts of stuff so I shall get that sorted and I'll have to root my stamps out so I shall see you next time so I've just pulled four of the pages from the Flora's Dream Kit. So I'm just folding them in half and I'm going to swap them over for some plain paper. Um, and then that will be one signature nearly ready. It's nowhere near complete. So let's just pull some plain papers out and swap them, swap these in intermittently. So this is 160 GSM paper, so that's going to be the beginning of a week. So I'll leave one plain and then slot one in. And then a little bit further along. There's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing this, it's just... Um, Something to do, not that I haven't got lots to do anyway, but it's been playing in my head this for a while and I thought, right, just get on and do it. And I got some new kits off Janie B and I thought, right, now's the time to utilise what I've been thinking about and get started. It takes a lot of planning. And I think I might have this as the centre spread. So I'm going to fold that the other way. And then that can be right in the centre. So once I've settled, definitely I will trim these edges with the craft knife. At the moment I can't do it because I had a fall at the weekend and I've got a swollen wrist and I can't put any pressure with my hand. So that is the first signature done.
so join me next time I shall make this into a little series and I shall number the videos because I will be doing other videos in between and uh, so watch out for them because I'd love you to come on this journey with me so and also I would love you to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and I can't believe that I'm up to um, over 700 I think at the moment subbies which is wonderful I know everybody says it you never think that you're going to get to that many so I thank one and all and I hope you will join me on this little journey and have some fun Bye.